So we've got a uh, conglomerate in this area. We've got granite. Um, we have bauxite. We have chalk. Um, we have, um, I think the soil here, yeah, this is low fertility here, but I think as we move this way, we find medium fertility soil. Um, it might have been farther back in that way. So um, really not going to complain that much. Um, we're just going to have to do what we need to do here. So uh, first things first, um, we're going to start that whole, oh yeah, and there's a little bit of terra preta right here. Um, there's a lot of uh, crops in this area too. Uh, a lot of opportunities for hunt. I mean, look at all the sheep that are right here right now. Um, and then I do have uh, medieval expansion mod installed. So I think there's like some cows that were hanging around back over here too. So uh, we've got a lot of uh, the resources that we need. Uh, but there's those resources that we just have to have. Um, you know, the firewood is one of them. I've been doing my best to conserve it. Uh, but every day I'm going to have to at least cut down one tree and uh, probably have to do a little bit of hunting each day too. And I'm in a better health position right now for hunting. So uh, opportunity presents itself. We're going to take advantage of it. And I see right up ahead of us. like to um, pull the old Obi-Wan Kenobi here and get the high ground on these. See if I can uh, force them to come uphill at me. I thought there was another one that was down here. Oh. Let's see if I can get her. So storm coming yay there we go let's heal up as best we can um been doing a few things odd and end things uh whenever i get an opportunity um and uh haven't really uh had much chance to do anything else it's like i said right now it's just all about survival so we're gonna set through this um, I don't know if you just saw what it did. So, uh, drifters can spawn anywhere during a temporal storm. Uh, you see my room here is one, two, three, four blocks tall. Um, so what I did is I put a ladder on the, uh, third block up. And, uh, I can jump up and I can grab a hold of that ladder and hold myself up and up here against the roof. Now, uh, they'll still be able to get me, uh, if they were to get down here, they could, they could probably still reach me. Um, for an attack, but I should be able to minimize any kind of a attack that they have. Let me hop on the map. I'm going to show a couple of things. Um, so we've got the trader that's right there, and we have one of the uh, arena type um, ruins over here. We have a lot of ruins in this area. You'll see these two structures here. Uh, I'm going to try to, to exploit. I don't know if it'll work or not, but we remember seeing this is where we were fighting that uh, uh, one uh, sheep at um, that handed it to us. To me, not to you guys. <laughs> uh, but I uh, uh, built these little, like, little square areas and then put uh, some dirt around it. One thing I have seen in this game is there is kind of a pathfinding uh, or, or not pathfinding, but a uh, um, a normal movement path that these animals take. <clears throat> and I, I happened to notice there was a couple of them that just kept running back and forth up this hill and then down this hill and up this hill and down this hill. Um, so I created a little pen area, uh, two deep sides, and put some blocks around it to see if they'll climb up and over. <clears throat> um, I don't know, just a test. And while we're going over this way, we're going to check a little experiment over here.
And I know that um, that wolf earlier came running from this. Oh. That was interesting. It looked like it. Uh, uh, you was about to run up on that. My little lift there. Go in. That would have been great. Let's see. <laughs> we got two. Might get a, We might actually watch it in happen. No, turn back off. So there you go. Uh, proof of concept. Looky there. We got a male and a female in that one. Let's check this one out. Oh, look at that. Two in this one, too. So a uh, handy little trick there. Uh, I wasn't really sure if that was going to work or not. But like I said, I kept watching them come down off this hill. And walking down along this way, and I thought to myself, well, you know, let's, let's give it a shot and see. So, oh, we got three in here. Uh, dug a pit, two deep hole, uh, put in the terra preta for the farm, and uh, tilled it so that we turned it into farmland. Um, again, we don't have anything that we can plant just right now, but pretty soon we will. Large bite marks. That's from a wolf. And just feathers. So I'm not going to worry about that. But it's indication there's a wolf close by. And there's our gravel. Alright, let's go cut us down a tree. I don't really have space for a tree, though, do I? Yeah, we'll make it work. Oh, we won't even get... Uh... Okay, we'll have space for a tree here in just a second. Is we going to lose this axe? Replace with another one. There we go. Anything else we miss here? So I've got it. All right. Well, I tell you, whenever springtime comes around and the tr and the ground warms up, uh, all these berry bushes around here are going to be. There you go. All these berry bushes are going to fill our belly up. Oh, there's the wolf. Right there. Him. Ah, hit. Now we're out of spears, aren't we? Well, that's no good. Kind of see if I can get him out of here. It comes. Oh. Oh, now we're starting to take damage from the cold. Oh, how'd that happen? Oh, come on, get up there. Now, <laughs> usually I don't go too far after killing you. All right, there. Here we go. Goodness gracious. Getting 
pretty bad at this, aren't I? Now, usually when they're hurt like that, they'll, when you see them running away, that usually means they're one away from dying. Here we go. Not gonna get much. And that's all you do. And each time that you do this, you actually get eight charges out of the bony soil or the gravel or sand, um, whichever one you're doing. And uh, what's happening is as you pan it, whatever you get from it, if you get something, it's going to go into your inventory um, automatically. So usually you'll see, you know, like your basket or your inventory slot will... Um, will shake when something new goes into it and uh, so far it looks like the only thing I've got is just one bone there we go something else went into it bony rib cage all right let's check out our trader see what he has here his name Timoff. Oh, a treasure hunter. So... Now, being able to buy seed vessels can come in quite handy. That's a good way to find your cabbage. But selling stuff... Yeah, actually... I'll be able to use him for getting lots of gears. But I want to show you something. Um, I came by. It's actually been several days. So let's go back to the map or go back to the calendar. It's March 14th. Um, look how green. It's fantastic. And you can start to see the the ground starting to melt here. It's fantastic. Uh, starting to see. We saw butterflies last episode. Uh, anyways. Uh, piggy. And a couple of uh, little piglets. So, uh, actually, the piglets I chased in, um, piglets will run away. The small animals will run directly away from you. Oh, and we got a ram in here now. Um, piglets will run uh, directly away from you. So, I saw the piglets uh, with their sow out over here um, on the other side of this tree. And so, I made a big loop and I came back in and ran directly behind them. And, of course, they ran straight away from me up over the hill and right into it um so not not hard uh at all to get them in there um so uh there's one part of it so now let's get our sorry guys i i i kind of noticing i'm just getting the attention span of a retribution paladin in world of warcraft right now so uh, a lot of stuff kind of going on that i want to kind of get done in this episode i actually did find some surface copper uh, praise the Lord, pass the biscuits. That has been one of the things that's been really bugging me is not finding any um, surface ore. Um, but I want to get in here and get our charcoal. Yes. Okay, so um, I've demonstrated this before, and, and you know, you'll get an, op an opportunity to see this in the future, but uh, charcoal pits, um, you know, you stack up the firewood, uh, you set fire to it, uh, you cover it up, and uh, after a certain period of time, you end up getting uh, the charcoal. And you'll see that I'm doing this uh, where I have um, an area um, where I have less of a fire risk, and we're going to make this so it's even less of a fire risk here in just a second. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our items down inside these. So one, two, three, four. Put that one in there. That one in there. And that one in there. And I've been stocking up on grass any chance I got. Um, so I still have quite a few bales. But we're going to hold on the shift key and uh, add that in there. And there. And you'll see now it's asking for sticks. 
So one, two, two, and one, two. And now it's asking for a uh, form of fuel. And like I said, I'm gonna try this with the charcoal, see how much it takes. Four. That's good. And, and if you remember, we did the uh, long blade and we did the pick um, and we did the hammer. Um, hammer and pick, that's that's usually the first two I always do. I think I think that's a gimme for everybody um, that plays this game because, A, you can't start mining until you have a pick and you can't do anything with what you mine until you have a hammer. So I uh, always need to have at least 40 uh, of the nuggets before you can get started on that that the copper is an alloy for bismuth bronze, for black bronze, brass, uh, molybdicunchukus, <laughs> and tin bronze. Uh, tin bronze is simply tin and copper. Um, that's usually the next step. I have been a little fortunate, and if you, uh, let me close this, open my inventory for a second, and then we'll go back in. If you take a look, you'll see in my um, you'll see in my basket here that I do have some zinc, some lead, and some bismuthite. Bismuth, I always called it bismuthine, but anyways, uh, bismuthite. So I do have everything that I need to make bismuth bronze ingot. Uh, I mentioned in in one of the previous episodes I was going to have to move uh, this over, and I've done it. Um, I've got to, this is where the uh, greenhouses are going to go. And I don't have quite enough of the terra preta, but I had some medium fertility soil, so I planted that. And there's going to be a third one right here. And where you see the trenches at now are going to be the walls uh, that kind of combine them together. Getting louder this way. There they are. Awesome. Okay. All right. Mark this. So now we can pour into our anvil. I mentioned this in in season one i absolutely love the animation of it actually filling up great job the development team i'm gonna pour that ingot and that ingot all right